Hey guys, welcome back. Last Moon Gaming, another music reaction for you. And it's Friday, so it's once again time to reveal the winner of this week's poll. Coming in with 36% of the vote is Soko Ninaru with, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Gao Ni Moyu. Uh, butchered that, I'm sure. Uh, so, Soko Ninaru with Gao Ni Moyu. I'll be honest, when I put this one on the poll, I wasn't expecting it to beat out some of the others that were on there. Um, so that must mean I'm in for something special. Uh, what I think I know about this band, at least the note I had written down when it was suggested, is that they're a genre of math metal or math rock. Um, and I've heard some math rock before. And being a musician, I remember my head exploding when I heard it. Um, it's basically, from what I remember, a very technical, or can be a very technical form of progressive rock. And I love progressive shit, so uh, this should be fun. Um, from what I can remember, um, it definitely isn't for the faint of heart. <laughs> so, I'm kind of ready for that. But at the same time, I'm also super excited to get my head blown. Uh, so, let's just see what happens. Um, if you have a request and want to push to the front of the line, or you'd like early access to videos and other exclusive content, join us on Buy Me A Coffee and help support the channel. Uh, simply click the link in the description below to find everything we have to offer. Regardless of what you choose, your support is always appreciated. Finally, don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and leaving any suggestions in the comment section below. All that helps the channel grow. Let's just get to this. Uh, link to the original, as always, will be in the description below. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. All right, I thought when it started, I thought uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I wrote the note in the wrong thing because it s started off pretty normal rock and then that switched over real quick. So let's let's catch that transition again. And uh, I, I can guarantee I'm not going to count this. <laughs> I couldn't count that little part. Yep, uh, there's a good possibility it's still actually in four and they're just screwing around with everything because I was not nodding my head along with the beat the whole time. Doesn't necessarily mean it was in four, but <laughs> I always came in on one. Uh, yeah, this would be a nightmare to read. Let's see, let's see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's crazy but i am i mean i honestly have no idea if this is actually written in four but i'm counting it in four coming in on the beats on the ones and there's just so much syncopated and written in between that, you know, it's really hard to tell if it actually, what time signature it actually is in. It'd be really impressive, and it would, I guess, meet the definition of math rock if it wasn't a simple time signature, but 
all the rhythms were just like completely insane. Uh, but they all came in at one. Uh, if I remember like the last time I listened to anything math metal or math rock, it was so confusing. Um, this isn't that confusing and I, I can get in with this. It's very technical and challenging, but can, not as confusing as the other ones. I, mean, I remember the other ones, when you broke it down, they were like each member was in a different time signature and they would all add up to the same. So they would come in and it would be like, how? But so far, so far, I'm enjoying this more in the aspect of it seems like a little easier math rock. We'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I have previous math rock. Here in the See, this is in four or two. Yeah, I mean the chorus is the chorus is definitely in four or two, um, and then you have these verses and pre-choruses that are in. They could still be in four, but without actually hearing it a second time or a third time or a fourth time, it's harder to figure out exactly what they're in. I think, I think the genius of this is that it is in four for the most part. There's probably some odd measures thrown in there every now and then. And then that they're just breaking up the music and coming in on like the ease of a note, like one E and a, or coming in on the and or coming in on the, uh, from different parts and it's splitting it up and making it feel like it's really off time which is really hard to to count in your head when you're playing this fast and this technical so if that is actually what they're doing that is genius and in my mind more genius in some ways than having all the complicated time signatures that all come together and all match up once you add them all together because this is a lot more listenable than some of the other math stuff I've listened to. I, I like this. Oh, what was that? That sounded really cool. (laughs) 
Yeah. So uh, that was Soko Soko Ninaru with Gao Nu Moyu. Let's talk. So besides for it just being a uh, you know a math song, it is also a fantastic song. I mean the song itself is really is really catchy. Um, I would put that more into the math rock of one specific uh, Tool song. Now they sound nothing like Tool, and I'm not comparing the bands. I'm comparing the technique. Uh, and that song is Tool the Pot. Uh, Tool the Pot, for like 95% of the song, if not the whole song, um, it's in four. But because Danny Carey does such interesting things on the drums and comes in on such odd beats, the whole, a big portion of the song feels like it's in these weird time signatures. But it's not. It's in four. And I think that's what they're doing here. I would have to obviously listen a couple times to, to make sure... Obviously, seeing the sheet music would, would help a lot, uh, but I'm sure some of you guys will be able to tell me who are a lot more familiar with this band, but I think that's what's going on here, and to me, that's more of an interesting song than having crazy-ass time signatures, uh, if you're trying to specifically make it complicated. Um, there are some songs like, and I go back to this, um, The Dance of Eternity from Dream Theater, where it has you know, umpteen million time signature changes throughout the entire song. But that's done very purposely for this <laughs> purposeful part of that song. And learning that song is pretty much, especially on drums, learning that song is pretty much just memorization. There's no way I could sit down and count that at all. I mean, I know it can be done, but I couldn't do it. And I'd never memorize it. Memorize the time signatures. I just memorize the song. If that makes any sense. So, yeah, I mean, so I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm curious if they have other songs that are more complicated um, than this. I mean, I would assume they do. Uh, so, yeah, I'm waiting to hear from you guys in the, in the comments below to see what you all tell me about this. Uh, with that, we're going to leave this right here. Uh, don't forget that I also stream. If you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you follow me on Twitch so that you can keep up to date with any of the live streams that I plan on doing um, in the in, down the road. Uh, we have done one or two already at this point. Uh, so make sure you uh, you are keeping up to date with that. Follow me over on Twitch. Very easy. Um, link to all my social media. Everything is down in the description. Go ahead, take a look. If there's anything you're interested in, give me a follow. I'd appreciate it, but that's up to you. Um, don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll every Friday. Where you find songs like this and groups like this, um, you guys know what to do. You go to the community tab, you find the poll, you vote for the band. Whoever wins, that's who I react to. It cannot be any easier than that. Um, I have to do all the hard work because I'm the one who has to react to it. Uh, you just have to vote. So go ahead and do it. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you all next time.